You know, creating an entire cartoon world might seem challenging, right? It looks intimidating if you've never done it before, but let me tell you, it's probably one of the easiest things to do. This tutorial is gonna be the ultimate guide to creating cartoon-based world environment type animations. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So this is gonna be a very quick tutorial because this is a broad generalization of creating cartoon based animations right here in After Effects. So whether you've never touched animation before or you have lots of experience with After Effects, this tutorial guide is gonna show you the entire overview of creating a cartoon based animation, really easy. It's gonna be a quick tutorial, so be sure to hit pause on the video if you're following along. But the goal of this tutorial is for you to be able to return to this video and quickly pick up on the technique. So without wasting more time, let's jump into our tutorial. Let's get started. So first you need your seed, which is gonna have to be an Illustrator vector file. You can possibly check out hundreds of thousands of scenes from freepix.com. There's also countless other websites where you can get paid or free vector. So I'll link this one in the description so we can follow along. And once you have that file downloaded, you, you can open up the Illustrator file or the EPS file in Adobe Illustrator. So here's our scene. The first thing you wanna always do is go right to layers and see what layers are available. Turn off anything that you do not need, go into each layer and just take a look at the groups that are not necessary. So I don't need any of this website stuff. And I can delete it with this delete button down at the bottom. So then what we wanna do is select our entire image, go to object and click on ungroup. And you wanna select ungroup until that main group is gone. So now we have all of our paths put together right here. The next step is to put everything that we want to animate into its own layers. We can create several new layers by creating new layer icon down here. I have a handful of layers created. And then simply we can go through every layer here and just see what is selected. And when we find a path that we want to animate in After Effects, bring that path into the new layer at the top. And just do that for every uh, component that you want to animate. And make sure that every separate path goes into its own layer. And also be sure to bring in like clouds or whatever objects into those new layers because you can animate everything. As much detail that you can bring in for animation is going to bring it all to the next level. Okay, so I have all of our layers separated, including the sun, all the clouds, and all the tree groups put together so we can easily animate all these layers inside of After Effects. When you're done, go to File, Save As, and save your file. So now that Illustrator is out of the way, and if you need more help with learning the Illustrator process, I will link a few more longer and slower tutorials on that process. But we'll go ahead and jump over to After Effects and begin the animation. All right, so first you need to import your file that you saved in Illustrator into your project window in After Effects. It'll ask you how you want to import it, composition, layer size, click OK. Then you double click that composition that was imported and you have your Illustrator file all in its own layers right here. Then you go to composition, composition settings, set your width and height to your aspect ratio. So 1920 by 1080 is good for me and your frame rate as well and click OK. Then what we'll do is go to layer, new, null object. We'll grab all of our layers except for the null object and parent it to the null. And we can simply hit S on keyboard for scale and we'll scale this entire scene up to fit our composition. And then we need to check on continuously rasterize icon right here in the middle to make sure that we maintain maximum fidelity. And this is where the animation begins. So we'll start with the simple stuff, which is our clouds. What we can do for clouds, if you have any, hit P on keyboard for position and add a keyframe for them. Move forward to the end of your animation and we can grab the X position of all these clouds and we can move them over. So they all go in the same direction. So now we have a very nice and subtle animation of our clouds. And then if you want to continue with any other position animations with your objects, in my case will be a sun, I will do the same exact thing, add a keyframe for position, and I'll move that object up, which in my case is the sun. You know, it's nice to get the simple animations out of the way first to build some momentum. And when it comes to more complex shapes that are not easily separated in Illustrator, like these trees here, what we want to use is something called a puppet pin tool. So for example, I'll solo this layer right here and see how we have some trees. And I'm going to come here and grab the puppet pin tool. So we simply just want to animate the trees. So what we'll do is we'll click a bunch of points to hold everything in place so it doesn't distort. Then we'll click a point on top of the trees. And then we can shift click each of the points here so they're selected. Then we can move forward in our timeline and we can animate these over. And then move forward again and animate them back or an animate your object in any way you need to. So now we have these trees subtly animating with the wind. 
and you can apply this puppet pen tool technique to every layer that you want to use it for and you see we have all of our trees animated and even the grass down here which is really nice now let's talk about some more abstract animation techniques so in my case, I have this water here and I want this to be rippling. I make sure that I know what layer that is and I go to effect, distort, and I'm going to grab ripple. Also keep in mind that liquify, bulge, and warp are good effects for animating. So just keep in mind that you have those tools and experiment with them. We'll grab ripple. And we have an anchor point for our ripple effect and we can put this in the center for our water. Increase our radius. The nice thing about this effect, it'll automatically be animating. We can bring down the wave width and the height and then we can change the type of conversion to symmetrical and just experiment with the rest of the settings now we're not just done yet i want to add a couple of things to help bring the scene even more to life like a little bit of overall animation and how we can change the lighting of the scene which is very important so to add some overall animation we'll grab all our layers and pre-compose it by going to layer pre-compose then we can simply hit s and shift p on keyboard for position and scale add a keyframe for both of them move forward to the end of your animation we can scale inward or outward and just change the position any way that we see fit. And now we have this very nice overall animation into our scene, which pulls us in, or you can animate it out, which pulls us out. And then affect the lighting of the scene. Let's go to effect, color correction, and we'll add brightness and contrast. We'll add a keyframe for brightness, and we'll bring that keyframe to the end of our animation. And we'll bring the brightness down. So now the lighting will change as the sun goes up. And this is a lighting concept you want to think about when lighting should be changing. And then for a personal touch, what I do with all my animations is I go to noise and grain and add a noise. And I set this up to like 6% and uncheck use color noise. And this will kind of make it seem a little bit more filmic. And as optional, you can turn on motion blur for all your layers and make sure it's turned on in your main composition. To close off this tutorial, I want to give a shout out to our Motion Graphics Starter Pack, which is this After Effects template right here. And this pack has 500 elements all built to help you save hours of time and help you produce amazing motion graphic work. It comes with over 150 motion graphics, over 200 title templates, animated backgrounds, transitions, and logo animations. The Motion Graphics Starter Pack has been created to help you enhance your compositions with little time. So be sure to check the link in the description to our pack and watch our full review on it. If you do pick it up, you will be supporting our channel, so thank you. So that is our tutorial guide on creating these cartoon base environment animations. I hope this tutorial has come off as easy and now you should be able to create whatever general cartoon animation that you're looking to create. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.